All right, ladies and gents, back with another light tank video. Um, I don't know why I'm doing these because you know me and light tanks, but I get sent these uh, replays from uh, uh, from subscribers and strike members, and I got to put them up because they are really great games. You know, we just had the last one with Rep, uh, and now we got Techno in the LTB. Um, he he's a he's a light tank fanatic, um, more so than I would ever be in just about any tank. <laughs> But you can already see he's got up to his, uh, he's got his second, uh, second stripe on his barrel for, um, for the, uh, three MOE. Uh, so yeah, he does play this a lot. Uh, gets shot by the B, the B, uh, the bat chat 12 T 12 ton. Uh, and now he's going to start working the corner. <coughs> he's got a couple sh tanks moving up here. AMX 30, uh, Pershing challenger sitting there. Challenger gets a shell into him and he's looking again. Puts another shell in the Challenger. And he's racking it up pretty quick. And if you don't, if you've never played this tank before, uh, this this used to be the tier seven until this to the introduction of the tier tens, uh, and this got moved up to uh, tier eight. Uh, I I like the tank when I played it. It, uh, it its gun on it is very very good. Um, <clears throat> for the but the only real downfall on this tank is you know it's good it's good speed, good maneuverability, good gun. Uh, is it's got really crappy gun depression. But in this situation that he's sitting at here, he doesn't really have to worry about that so much. Uh, he's got a nice chunk of support here. He's got backed up by TDs uh, and whatnot. He puts a nice shell into the Pershing. Uh, and now he's looking for the uh, idler on the front of that Pershing uh, to keep him tracked. Uh, apparently the Pershing still tracked on the other side, so he's not getting any assisted damage. So he's already up to 1,500 damage with about a minute 45 into the game. <coughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um. They've cleared the hill, they've got the hill, and now uh, he's going to go into, uh, you know, and he's playing this kind of outside the typical light roll, kind of like you saw the one with Rep. Uh, <coughs> he's going to be using this thing as a, uh, playing a little bit more like a medium, which which this tank can do very well. I mean, it, it, with the speed mobility uh, and that very good gun on it, um, it, it allows him to do that. Picks up the uh, RU, gets a nice shell into his idler, tracks him. And of course, as you said, like I said before, he's aimed right at that idler, uh, trying to keep him tracked. So not only does he get damage, but he also gets assisted damage. Picks up the RU251, puts another shell into his idler. This time he does get him tracked, uh, and he's starting to pick up the assisted points. Finishes him off, puts him up to 2,100 damage off the bat, 341 assisted. So uh, this right here is kind of what, you know, all right. Where's your fire extinguisher? Because uh, we don't need it. We don't need one of those. Who needs one of those? Uh, so he picks up the Leo. Leo's paying a little peeky pokey right here. Oh, just misses the Leo on the rear. Uh, and the Leo's kind of like, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Yep, yep. He um, he took a nice shell to the uh, gluteus maximus there. All right, so we got the T29. He's pushing up. T44-100. He's not really in a great position. Uh, against the hull down T29, um, but unfortunately uh, T29 moves a little too far up and uh, loses his ability to go hull down. So, game's pretty much evened up right now at 5-5. Five, five. And what are we doing here? Uh, we got a T54 over there. Uh, he's playing the, uh, the role of the heavy, kind of interesting. Picks up the Yag Panther. Um, this is kind of an interesting move. Uh, you usually don't see this early in the game, the uh, bridge push. Um, that typically doesn't work out real hot for you. But in this situation, they're actually doing a pretty nice job of it. Uh, yeah, the Yag Panther, the Leo, and the Tiger P have all moved across. Um, yeah, not looking too bad. Not too shabby right now. Uh, unfortunately, these guys right here. So we got AMX 30. Uh, yeah, you, you don't push into that. That just uh, that you you got that many tanks. Stop <laughs> stop pushing into that, you tards. Uh, yeah, um, it, it's kind of an unwinnable situation to push over into that hill like that with all them tanks. Uh, Yag Panther kind of fucks it. Ooh, gets tracked, and he sets himself up for the next shot into the. Oh, that's not good. So he's got most of the damage off him. He's already up to 3,000, about 500 assisted. Uh, and the game's still relatively tight. It's 8-7 right now, 9-7. Not looking too bad. GW Panther spotted. Puts a shell onto him. 
for about almost 200. Pretty nice little roll for that gun. Um, pulls over here, picks up the Ferdinand coming up the hill. Oh, right there. I mean, other than the fact he was up on a kind of a shit spot for him, uh, it wouldn't work out too bad. So he waits, gets a crappy RNG roll on that. Um, Ferdinand gets an unbelievable roll. Or uh, RNG sh with the uh, Ferdinand with an APCR round and he bounces it. Unreal. Finds the AMX-30. AMX-30 is like, eh, nope, I'm going to play, play Peaky Bokey. Uh, not so good. So he's not sitting in a real good position right now. <laughs> he's got AMX-30 here. Three, oh, he bounces another one. Oh, oh, craziness. Just pure craziness. Finds the uh, AMX. And the AMX is like, nah, we're just going to take it. We're going to take it. We're going to take it. We're going to like it. Um, so he does a little, try to do a little side side scraping here. See if we can get the uh, AMX baited into shooting his tracks. Uh, nope. Gets him in the uh, the, the turret. Uh, anyone right there was talking about about the uh, gun depression on there. There you go. There's there's one of the problems with this tank and it's it's lack of gun depression. Uh, this that little even that little knob right there. He can he can't even get his gun down on there. AMX is like yeah I'm just gonna stare at this spot. Um, eventually you're gonna pull out so I can shoot you, but no he doesn't. <laughs> Instead he gets wasted by the um, artillery. Uh, AMX 30 is looking pretty rough right now. He's got one. Oh snapshot misses. AMX 30's picked up. They're up to. He's already up to 4,600 and 1,300 spotting. Picks another one up. Three kills, 4,791, uh, 1,364 assisted. All right, so we got the Leo here. He's down to nothing but premium shells left. Uh, he's put up a hell of a nice score and put up a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, damage in this tank. Leo pulls up the top. Oh, pulls off the donk shot there. Gets another bounce oh come on tech no you can't tell me this was just pure <laughs> rng that was ridiculous <laughs> finishes off and thank you artillery you know what fuck you artillery players that do that kind of shit that pisses me off to no end i play artillery there's no way in hell even if there's a last tank left with 93 hit points am i going to throw up a shell like that um that's just uh unsportsmanlike at the Appaloos, uh, just it's just terrible. Just don't do it. All right. So, Techno's got 5,200 on the board, 1,180 blocked, and 1,364 assisted. Hell of a nice game, Techno. Um, way to play this uh, the light tank uh, for a really nice win. You know, Ace Tanker. Uh, I'm sure that helped you a long ways uh, to your third MOE on this tank. So, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, light tank videos, and uh, I hope I'm gonna have a um, plane review up yet tonight. So we'll talk to you guys later.